Hi, and welcome back to another video. Um, I currently find myself at a place known as Krejokum, which is in the eastern region, not so far from Ibri, also not so far from Pukwasi. And you may ask, what, what are we doing here? Well, as usual, so we've been um, working on a solar project here for this particular uh, property here. And I must say that this year looks like a lot of people have decided to make the bold move to switch to solar, which is a good thing because in our part of the world, we have the sun energy in abundance and being able to convert that into useful energy is actually, you know, great. And also, I could, or I can boldly say that we've been part of, you know, journey for some people who have decided to switch to solar this year because we've done quite a number of solar projects this year across the country from the northern part, the middle part, as well as the southern part. We've been to places this year and it's actually great because, you know, um, being able to convert the sun energy into electricity and using that, you don't have to pay continuous bills, you don't have to face power outages and the rest. Feels good and actually I can share my testimony, especially using solar systems for quite some years now. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and then take a look at what system we've done here. So we have um, the panels, we, we install the panels, we install the inverter as well as the batteries and then all the necessary accessories. And this project took us three days to complete, but I'm here on day four to just, you know, assess everything that we've done and also to record uh, this video. So the panel capacity is 14 um, kilowatts and that is 590 watts, 24 pieces of that. So that's a monocrystalline panel. And then also we have a 12 kilowatt SRN inverter. SRN is one of my favorite brands when it comes to solar systems. So it's a three-phase system. And then for the battery also, we have a total of 28.66 uh, kilowatt hours um, battery capacity. So that's two pieces of 14.33 um, kilowatt hours. And that is also from SRNE. Yeah, so you know, whenever I have to work on SRE systems, I, I'm very excited because, you know, the installation process is quite seamless, you know. Yeah, I, not to say others are not so, but, you know, I don't know. But I, I, I seem to like the SRE brand. Yeah. So let's just um, take a look at what we, um, we've done here. So when it came to this installation of this project, the owner was quite concerned, especially not having cables or pipe or trunk and whatever it is on the wall, especially the external wall. So then there was a need to bury these uh, pipes in the wall. So we had to do these uh, conduit pipes. So we had to cut some actually on the top floor of this uh, building. We had to cut the wall. So once we routed the cables for the panels on top of the roof, that is after the installation of the panels, we had to pass pipes uh, that is within the ceiling, pass our cables through the pipes all the way here, cut this section, and then um, because we didn't want to interfere the slab, we had to go outside and then cut from outside all the way to, to the um, ground um, floor. So that's uh, it. So we have a um, total of two arrays, so 12 each, and then an earthing cable. So we have a five pieces cable which are coming through this pipe going all the way down. Yes, yeah, so let's just um, explore around. So I must say this property is actually situated at a very nice location. You have this nice mountain just right next to it over here. And if you look around, you can see some nice, you know, hills and valleys. And there seem to be a water body down there around where the valley is. And you look around here. So you can see, same. I must say it's, it's, it's a beautiful place here. And the weather changes very frequently. The three days we've been here, we had, you know, rains on, I think, and each day um, being here. So the weather here is, is, is great. Yeah, so let's just descend downstairs and um, look at what we've had to um, do during the installation of the system. So since this is a three level um, floor building, so each floor has its um, distribution board, but all the distribution board are connected to the ground floor distribution board, which provides power. So let's go through this point. Yeah. And as I was saying, so this is where the main distribution board is for the ground floor, and you have the changeover here. So because I was concerned about, you know, pipes and trunking and the rest, there was a need for us to cut the wall, pass our pipes. Um, through the wall that is from the changeover, which is going to be for our 
uh, power output that's from the inverter and then input that is from the grid into the inverter uh, so our lines are there rotor the cables through the pipes there so we have to cut this point and then pass the pipes on, that, um, on the ground that is through this side we have to cut the section as well chisel it and then pass our pipes all the way through to that point there's a bit of echo in here yeah so that's what we had to do just to you know make sure we we don't have pipes showing around and i must say it's very important for people who intend to have solar system um have some of these works done so that there's no need for us to come later and then cut the floor the walls and all those things to pass pipes so if you intend to have any other source of power except for the grid it will be good to you know have these pipes you know buried in the wall so that you don't have to do some of these so because they create a, mess, create a mess and the rest anyway so this is the system i'm sure it might look a bit familiar this is similar to what we have powering the car wash the only difference is that for that of the car wash it's a single phase system and for this this is a three phase system so you can see the ratings or the details of the system here so this is ip65 rating so you can install it outside and it should be fine with it yeah so those are the details of the system you can see that the max dc power it's able to take is 9000 watts and two of that's because it has two mppt charge controllers with two strings each so total of four strings that you are able to have your panels uh, connected to the pain depending on the configuration you are choosing to go with but in our case we decide to do 12 each in series so the total of 24 panels uh, we have two arrays coming straight to the um, inverter and we have a breaker box and as well as the spd box here so we have the breakers for each array as well as the spds and then to the left here we have the ac input and then a voltage protector coming in here at um at this point the grid hasn't been connected the wiring is done but the fittings for the house hasn't been done yet so we've also decided not to connect um into the um, changeover yet until all these things are done the owner was in ghana he wanted to you know have the yeah feel of the system being installed so that's how come we've had to install it around this period but i'm sure very soon the house is going to be completed so there's a 12 kilowatt three-phase um, hybrid system and then you have the battery one that is uh, this is 14.33 kilowatt hours battery so you have two of that giving us a total of 28.66 kilowatt hours and then you also have a bus bar so the bus bar is able to it's helping us put these two batteries together going through the mccb breaker in there and then to the inverter yeah so this is quite a straightforward uh, setup you also have a wi-fi module here which is able to um you know share or lets you help you monitor the system once you have internet connectivity here so pretty much that is what we've had to do so as you can see we have pipes on the ground so this is going to be covered later that is going to be dressed or cleaned up and there's going to be towels over here also so these pipes because it's a three-phase system we needed to have a total of eight pipes each pipe containing um, a 16 mm cable so we have four lines uh, that is in four lines out so um, line one line two line three in with a neutral in and then line one line two line three out also with its neutral so yeah this is uh, the system yeah it took us three days to have this completed so day one we started off with the panels then day two because there was a need to do the cutting let me just take you out and show you what the cutting looked like aside these ones we've seen inside we also had to mount a scaffold and then cut all the way from the first floor outside you can see the cuts there with our pipes and then all the way down and then also we had to cut this point to be able to bury our it so yeah as part of our systems we always bury it for it so that you don't have any you know um issues especially connecting into the existing air sometimes we face problems so um we always bury uh, an independent air for the systems that we work on or we install so day two we have to do all the cutting passing of pipes among others that's 
drawing cables and then day three we went ahead to install the inverter the unnecessary accessories as well as have the batteries also present these batteries are quite heavy yeah so so far so good this is what um this project looks like um, as of now hopefully once this house is completed we do uh, power it up and make sure it's you know providing or serving its purpose so so far that is what we've been doing here so it's it's been a good project yeah it's not been a straightforward like especially you know it's always not easy when you're having some of these projects done yeah, especially working at heights among others but it's been a good one and today's fourth december i don't know if you have your um solar project and you wish to have it installed before the year ends we are always available a call away or a text away and we'll be at your service to help you with the assessments load assessments and then the design for the system as well as a code so that we are good to get started i must say this for this project or the system we installed here the owner had already purchased everything so he did his load assessment and everything and he purchased so we just came in to do the installation so we are we also do that so if you prefer to buy your equipment and you want to call us to come we can always come in and then have the installation done for you so that will be just about it i'm signing out from Kredio chrome if this doesn't happen to be our final uh project for the year then see you in the next um, solar project yeah, so that'll be just about it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.